So hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. And today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how to call the wrap top. So first of all, I've already um gotten my pattern paper to draft the wrap top um pattern. So this is for the back. I would use the back pattern and get the the front pattern and then I'll transfer it into a fabric. So this is it. Um, I've already drawn a straight line as you can see. I've already drawn a straight as my shoulder line shoulder line and then i will draft the measurement vertically so next thing i'll be doing at this point is to take your one inch slope one inch slope at this point and the next thing you do is you connect it and then the next measurement you're taking is your shoulder to Show that to your bust. Show that to bust point. Show that to bust point is ten. Show that to under bust. Show that to under bust is fourteen, and this is. 19 so we'll use this as the length of the crop top so by the time we're folding it will come up a bit so this is what we're going to do so the next thing we'll do is we're going to take root this one out we're going to root this ones out i would write here Bust point BP UB on the bust, uh, and then the next measurement we are going to take is the arm side that is the arm hole measurement. So, for this person, the arm hole measurement is the arm hole measurement. For this person, the ammo measurement is 8.5, so we are going to take 8.5, and then we take the shoulder measurement, which is 7.5. So this is the shoulder. And then we'll cover out. We'll cover out the measurements. Um, the bust is 40. 40 divided by um, 4 is 10. The under bust is 36. 36 divided by 4 is 9. And the um, waistline, which is going to be the length of this pattern, the waistline is 34. 34 um, divided by 4 is 8.5. 8.5. So we'll have to add allowance and we have to add that. So what we do, uh, what I normally do at this point of the dart is I divide this. Um, the waistline into two and then this is it so then I get my dart line so this same measurement here which is 4.25 I'll take it here and then I will a straight line So I've ruled the straight line. So by the time I take the the dart, half inch, half inch, it will be one inch. So I'm going to add for the allowance, I want it to be um two inch. So I'm going to add this one inch, making it three inch. So I'm adding the three inches to the to the sides. This is a three inch. This is a three inch. 
this is a three inch The next thing I'm doing is the next thing I'm doing is I've connected the line. I will this line. this line out so that I can connect the arm side. So what next I'm going to do here is I will take I will take the um, shoulder line. So I want the shoulder line for this to be 3.5 the width to be 3.5 and the depth to be 1 Point five. So I'll connect. I'll connect like so, and then I'll. At this point to this point is this shoulder line so I will take half an inch up for the joining to this point so this is half an inch this is half an inch so I've taken the half an inch which is the shoulder allowance which is the shoulder allowance so the next thing I'll be doing is I won't cut the neckline I won't cut the neckline I'll just cut um, this straight so I can get the back right from this point so i'll cut this straight so i can get the back so this is the back and i will use this now i will use this and cut the um pattern on the fabric so let me do that right away. So I'm going to go ahead and place the um, pattern on the fabric. I've placed the pattern on the fabric. And what I will do is, I, you notice I left some allowance here because the up or oh, back side is longer than the front side. So I left some allowance here. So I won't be cutting it um, at this point. Now this is what I do, the allowance will be like one inch. So I want to mark this point. I want to mark the point where I created as the shoulder line, which is this point. So let me mark it and watch it. So on screen, this is it. So what I do next is I notch it, so I won't get um, so I will know the exact place. And one next I will do is I will also notch where the lines are going to stop that the that line where it, where is it here i will mark it and i will notch the 
that's low. So I've done it down. And the next thing I will do is at this boss point, I will mark I will mark it. I know that this is the boss point line. So what next I will do here is I'll do the same which I've actually marked here. And then don't bother I'll cut um the neckline. I'll cut the neckline eventually. So let's draft for the front first. For the front, I will wide, I will open this down and I will take, you can take three inch at this point to slant to the neckline. You can take two inch, depends. You get, it depends on what's me. I'm taking two inch from this point and I will slant it up. So, This is the two inch. So, voila! <laughs> I've gotten the back. I've gotten one piece of the um, front pattern with the shoulder allowance inside of it. So I've got one piece. So I'm going to use, I'm using um, a plain and an Ankara pattern at the front. So I'm going to cut this right now on the Ankara and then I'll cut on the um, um, plain one and then I'll show you what I've done. So I've gone ahead to cut the front pattern, right? With the, this is the plain color that I'm using. So I want to mark where the darts will sit. I want to notch that place. I've notched both sides and the next thing I'll do is the same thing I did for the front. I'll mark where the boss point is going to stop here and mark for the back as well. This is where it stops. And then this is where it says that so let me open so this is it so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join the back and the front and then I'll bias everything I'll bias everything before I fixed the sleeve so the sleeve is going to be um, a very short sleeve a very short sleeve so um, let me cut the sleeve so you can see so this is a freehand method of cutting a sleeve um, this bust bust um, is 40 half of it um, 40 divided by 4 is 10 so this is what we're going to do we're going to divide that 10 into 2 and we're going to mark 5 and 5 from here we will not mark the desired length so let me do a straight line this serves as the base of the measurement so we'll mark We'll mark five here five here uh, 
um i want the sleeve length to be eight i want the sleeve length to be eight eight divided um eight plus one inch to do bend to folding it's nine so we'll fold it So this is the measurement at this point we'll take the ram at this point we'll take the round arm divided by two which is um, six six plus the two inch at this point we'll take the bust measurement some take some take the arm over i'm taking the arm over some take the bust measurement so the arm over is 8.5 8.5 plus 2 inch which is this and then i take that same 5 inch here at this point of the 5 inch i will it out and then I take 1.5 out and then I connect. So this I'll connect. I connect here. Then from this sleeve okay so um this is the back this is the back pattern i've cut the neckline this is the back pattern and um this is the front this is the front pattern and this is a sleeve the sleeve is very short and it's a very short cloth actually so the sleeve is very short so the, the i'll go ahead and like i said i'll go ahead and iron and um, bias the neckline bias and fold it down then i'll sew the sleeve i've um, fixed the sleeve i said it's going to be a very short sleeve so i attached for the plane I attached the Ankara at the edge, for the Ankara I attached the plane at the edge and I've biased, as you can see, I've biased the neckline, I've done the darts. So for this other point that is open, you can just weave it, you can, so it will be neat inside, so it's very short. The... You can either put this one like this or like this as a wrap top. Then I'll go ahead and wear the cloth so you can see the finishing look. <laughs> 